In this video, we're going to fix the section fill problem on top of your plans. And we're also going to show you how you can fix these right from the start. So you can avoid it in your modeling process. This was one of the questions posted by our student Akshat in the complete sketch of V-Day course for interior design. If you haven't signed up for the course, head to the link in the description and do learn SketchUp and V-Day right from scratch. <laughs> Alright, now let's get into the video and sort out this problem. So as you can see, I've created three solid geometries here. One is a simple box. One has an external wall, as you can see. And one has a solid geometry on top, like this. And we have the walls at the bottom, like this. So now let's add the section plane. So let's go to tools, click on section plane and just add it on top of the face. Press OK to create the section plane. Now we can select the section plane, use the move tool and then bring it down. So now you can see as I bring it down, the section fill changes for the solid geometries. So the section fill works in such a way that it cuts through solid geometry. And if a certain face indicates that it is a solid geometry, it would make it a fill. Now, if you'd like to hide the fill, what you can do is just go to view and click on section fill. So that would hide the fill there. So let me switch on section fill again. Or you can go to styles here, go to edit. And at the last, you have the modeling settings from where you can switch off or switch on the section fill. Now, if you'd like to sort out these issues where you can see that the section fill is showing up only for the inside wall and not for the outside, ideally it should be in between these two walls. All you need to do is make sure that you have solid geometry. So if I bring down the section plane, you can see that it is proper. So to fix this, what I will do is I'll delete the section plane for now. So let me go to the front view and I'm going to select these edges. Make sure to deselect this edge. Press Ctrl Shift to deselect that edge and then move it on top and snap it here. So now when I create the section plane, so let's go to Tools, Section Plane and add it on top. You can see that it creates the proper section fill in that solid geometry. Now I'm going to show you an example of a house which is badly modeled and where the section plane doesn't work. Alright, so this is a house as you can see. It's one group. And now when I enter this group and select these faces, you can see that there are no groups or components to any of these faces. So they're all modeled as separate faces, but not inside groups. So this is a big modeling error that you can commit when you are modeling a house. Always make sure that you are modeling in groups and components and that each element in your house is in a separate group or in a separate component. Now, since this entire house is a single group, what happens is when we add the section planes. So let's go to tools, click on section plane. And let's add it on top and let's bring the section plane down. So let's select the section plane, and move it down. You can see that it cuts through the geometry and it adds a section fill for the entire house. The reason is because we do not have the walls as separate elements, the floors as separate elements, the doors as separate elements and more. So you can see it's all exploded into a single face or a single group. So to fix this, all you need to do is when you are modeling the house from scratch, make sure to model them in separate groups and components. So I hope that helped. Just make sure that you model your doors, your windows, your walls, your flooring, your cabinet doors, the frame, all these elements as separate groups, even your skirting as well. Make sure to always model in groups and components. So that's how you fix your section fill issues. And if you don't want to see the section fill, just go to view and switch off section fill. By the way, you can also change the color of the section fill if you like. So if I switch on the section fill again, if you want to change the color, just go to styles, go to edit, click on modeling settings here. And then we have the section fill color. So you can change the color here. So let's go for something blue. And now you can see we have a blue color section fill. So that is just a bonus tip for you guys, since we are talking about the section fill settings. I hope you found this video useful and I hope you don't face section fill error again. I'll see you guys in the future videos. Cheers.